Hello everybody, welcome to my second review for today and uh, this will be about McAfee Toll Protection 2013. This is the final version and it looks uh, similar to the beta and also it's the same as the last version. So I'm not going to go through the settings too much but I am going to use some custom settings and let me just show you what are the things that I've changed. Now firstly I've made it scan, or I'm going to make it scan scripts in Internet Explorer and Firefox, and that's all that I'm going to change in this section. And in the firewall, I'm going to be enabling intrusion pr protection. Just open up the firewall. and this is how I'm going to have it set up at high so these are two changes other than that one more change that I've made is uh, I've changed their download protection and changed it from limited to balanced and I will be doing this test in these custom settings because I know the default settings don't really offer the kind of protection that most people want so that's the reason why I'm going to be using the custom settings Now the defaults are set up in such a way that it's not going to give too many false positives. It's only files that are known to be risky are going to be blocked, but since I'll be doing a test on zero day malware, I want to see what's the best that they've got. So that's one more setting that I've changed. Now let's take a look at the memory usage. Now where did it go? I'm not going to be counting the site advisor because uh, that's part of the browser, I guess. Other than that, uh, it has this McAfee Shield that's using 48 megs of RAM right now. It drops to about 30 megs after quite a while, but uh, anyway. So right now it's quite heavy. It's using about, uh, let's say, 60 to 70 megs of RAM. And uh, I've seen it go down, and it's most of the time I see it at around 50 megs. So it's still pretty heavy. And I am noticing some kind of system slowdown. So certainly it's not the best when it comes to performance. Now let's see if it can block the executable malware that I throw at it. These are all zero-day links. Let's see how McAfee protects us. First one's cut. Block it. Second one's a piece of adware. And it's cut too by the download blocking. Now third is uh, some kind of Trojan. And it is also cut. Now this is a fake AFE. These are all the same malware that I used in my previous test on MCSoft. Here's another Trojan, it's a fake WinRAR. So, so far McAfee is doing quite well. It's a low detection rate Trojan. And this too is blocked. So everything got blocked in the first part. So that's pretty impressive. Now let's see how it deals with the two exploits that I have. First one's a Java exploit. Drop some file, I guess. and McAfee doesn't seem to have caught that one. I don't see any alert from McAfee. Pretty sure it drops a file. Okay, let's try out the next one. Now here's a Java file that is malicious. This too is not blocked by McAfee. I don't have Java. That's the reason why it didn't uh, wreck the system. Okay, so in fact it g did get caught. So in fact it did catch uh, two files and it got rid of them. This alert is kind of a little bit slow. And it does look like it caught uh, 
this thing as well, or maybe not. Let's. Uh, no, it looks like it just caught the last one. So let me try this one again. And if it still doesn't catch it, okay, it's found something else. It's the same file. So let's try opening this one up again. Maybe this thing has gone dead because it's supposed to drop a file and it, lo and it loads up pretty slowly. I'm not seeing that now, so let me recheck here. I just verified the site is still active and it does drop a file, so McAfee didn't block the file in our case. So let's continue here. I've got two phishing websites. And this one seems to be blocked by McAfee. And it did get blocked. So let's try the next one. And this one too got blocked by McAfee. So one out of two exploits blocked and both the phishing websites blocked. So that gives us great A. Blocked nine out of ten links, which is pretty good. Now let's see how it does against uh, the malware file. So I'll just uh, disable McAfee for a moment here and uh, unzip the files and then I'll be right back. Welcome back. I just unzipped the files and there are 400 of them. This is just the alert for disabling the real-time protection. And these are all the same files that I tested against MCSoft. So I'll just do a right-click scan and let's see how many files McAfee can catch. So I'll be back when the scan is complete. McAfee just finished scanning and it's got rid of a lot of stuff but it couldn't deal with 11 things and it wants me to review them so I'll just quarantine whatever is left over and uh, yeah everything got removed so now let's re-enable the real-time scanning McAfee's back on, so now let's see how many files it's missed. It's missed 36 of them. So let's see what kind of detection rates we get. So that's a detection rate of 91%, right about what you'd expect from a pretty good security suite. So for this, I'm going to give it uh, an A. And now let's see what kind of defenses it has against unknown malware. So intrusion protection is off, in, is on, sorry about that. Intrusion prevention is on and uh, let's see if that can block some things here. Now before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that McAfee doesn't have uh, a different module for intrusion prevention. I think it's the same module as Artemis, which is their cloud and uh, if you enable intrusion prevention what happens is that the cloud catches more threats so it isn't a separate module so what we're expecting is not uh, you know an alert saying oh this file isn't doing this and this file is not doing something that's safe so if anything's going to happen I think uh, we might see a few more Artemis detections but that's only if their intrusion prevention works right. I'm not sure if it does. So far, nothing from McAfee. okay this one got caught and it's caught by Artemis and I'm pretty sure this is uh, just because I enable the intrusion protection if you don't enable intrusion protection Artemis is not going to detect these threats so what an enable on enabling intrusion protection the files get uh, you know checked on their cloud so the intrusion protection also works with the cloud 
which is good for an experienced user so it doesn't give any confusing alerts but I don't know if it's going to be that effective did block uh, a file at least this thing got through just fine here is another piece of adware and it's probably not going to be blocked because uh, McAfee doesn't have really deep intrusion protection and adware doesn't do anything really suspicious okay, I'm just going to skip this Let's try running some more files. Right now my computer is getting killed by a lot of malware just chewing at the CPU. and network as well it's kind of like hanging up now so I can't really do much so I'll just have to reset my virtual machine and then I think I will do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back because McAfee doesn't seem to be catching anything other than that one thing that it caught at the start So yeah, I guess that's that. I'll just be back with scan from Hitman Pro. Okay, just came back to show you guys that McAfee did find one more Trojan. And I think I'm going to leave it at this and uh, I'll just reboot and I'll be back with the scan from Hitman Pro. Welcome back, Hitman Pro has only found one Trojan and that's uh, kind of a little bit strange because um, I did see a lot of files get through but anyway McAfee still has uh, some unknown malware detection capabilities but uh, since the Trojan got through and I did see a lot of files running I'm going to be giving it a limited rating and that gives it grade B and performance hasn't been the best uh, I have experienced quite a lot of slowdown while running the files and doing some tasks so performance grade is going to be B usability I think their interface is very easy to use for you know novice users I know a lot of people complain about the scroll bars and stuff but I don't really think it's a big problem you can find whatever you need to find and it's not tough to find any specific location yeah the only complaint I, that I do have is that they don't really offer any kind of uh, tools for the advanced users or they also don't offer too much customization to the Artemis or to the heuristics so anyway I'll be giving an A for usability and so the overall grade has to be B plus because it did manage a pretty decent performance it did block 9 out of 10 threats got a great A here and the detection rate was pretty impressive unknown malware detection remains limited and so does performance uh, it's not the best so it gets great B 
So overall grade is going to be B+. So that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Talk to you guys later.